Good afternoon. Once again, today is Monday, the 1st of March, uh, 2021. Happy Monday. Uh, first of all, I'll just start with by saying that today is Zero Discrimination Day as uh, arranged by the uh, United Nations. And in this context, in the context of, of health, it is about not having stigmatization and having empathy uh, towards those affected by, by COVID. So I'll just uh, recap uh, the Thai language version of the briefing just now by Dr. Tuisin, the spokesperson of the CCSA. Uh, first of all, I will talk about the general situation and number of cases that we have for today. We have new confirmed case for today, which is 80 cases, out of which 36 cases are from active case finding. We have 196 new recoveries for today and no additional fatalities. So as you can see on the screen, the number of recoveries is almost uh, reaching. It's running after the number of cumulative cases and almost reaching, reaching in the same uh, number. So now we have only around 624 active cases, 624 cases which are still being uh, treated. A very good number compared to the other weeks and the months past, uh, well below 1,000 right now. So just some observations from the presentation of Dr. Tui Sin, that the new wave of COVID now is more or less, uh, we can say, under control in Thailand in most areas of the country. However, the infections are still found in certain provinces, such as those related to the fresh market cluster in Patum Thani and among the migrant workers uh, group in Chonburi and Ratburi. On the Fresh markets in particular, there are around over 1,600 or over 1,600 fresh markets in, in Thailand. And they had been talking about this uh, during the daily CCSA meeting uh, this morning. And the majority of those fresh markets had been cleaned all throughout uh, since the outbreak of COVID already. Now, since we still have uh, certain numbers of cases uh, on a daily basis. We have the vaccines already, but still we have to encourage the general public in Thailand to remain cautious and to remain vigilant and to remain, to take seriously and practice DMHTT, the precautions that we have. So D, distancing, M, mask wearing, H, hand washing, T, temperature, temperature check, and the other T is Tai Chana Mochana application, the contact, contact tracing applications. Now moving on to the issue of vaccines, vaccine distribution and vaccination, as Dr. Tuisin had summarized just now. So yesterday on the 28th of February, the Deputy Prime Minister and Public Health Minister Anutin Chanwirakun became the first person in the country to get the first jab, the first shot of vaccine against COVID-19 with Prime Minister Prayut chan in attendance. Uh, this was held at the Ministry of Public Health and we rolled out the first uh, vaccinations for the first time uh, after its arrival. Now, as of yesterday, as of the 28th of February, yesterday, 110,000 doses of COVID vaccines have been distributed already to 11, 11 priority provinces. Samut Sakon, Bangkok, Patum Thani, Tak, Chiang Mai, as examples. And by this morning, today, 319 medical staff in Samut Sakhon, Nontaburi, Samut Prakan, Nakhon Patom have already been vaccinated. So as you can see, the vaccination plan is underway. In, for the first group, the, those who are in the front lines uh, and healthcare workers, so far, there has not been any reported case of adverse effects in the inoculation, in the shots administered in Thailand no uh, adverse effects, side effects uh, yet. And today, more vaccines will be distributed to another two provinces, which are Phuket and Surathani, uh, including Samui. So, as you can see, our plan is underway and we will be managing the distribution plan of the vaccines uh, equally and according to the criteria that we have set for the most at-risk groups and the uh, provinces which are most at-risk. At uh, as you know, vaccines are not 100% uh, a preventive measure, not necessarily 100%, but to one degree, it, is, uh, it helps us 
to prevent uh, the uh, infection. Uh, so the, what is most important is, of course, the, the, the most important vaccine for us, of course, is our own uh, measures in uh, keeping uh, with the H DMHTT. Now, Dr. Tuisin also mentioned uh, the term uh, exit strategy. You know, it's very uh, welcoming to mention that term, but of course, we still have many things we have to do. Now, many countries are not at that point yet. We are not at that point yet as well, but just to plan ahead. So in terms of our strategy uh, looking forward, we would have to be looking at the results of uh, the bubble and seal strategy that we had uh, undertaken in the past two weeks in the various important areas, in, uh, such, as in, such as in Sakhon, in the factories. Now, the bubble and seal factories had been practiced for at least uh, two weeks already. We'll have to look into the uh, results of those, uh, and as well as to look into the results of the uh, antibodies uh, on particular uh, individuals which will actually take uh, some time. We won't know that result uh, immediately. But rest assured that we will try our best uh, to follow up with all the measures that we have uh, undertaken. As you recall, we had active case finding uh, last month, and the results had been good. We, had been, uh, we were able to cover uh, the majority of the factories and areas in Smutsakon and had uh, a lot of uh, positive cases were rooted out. Uh, now, most of those positive cases have been uh, treated already, and we have scaled down the active case finding, and the numbers are not as high as in the past week. So that, that's very, very good to hear. Still, we have to remain very, very vigilant. Now, for today, I'd just like to uh, end by saying that th we'll be having a uh, virtual seminar uh, called Women in Leadership, Achieving an Equal Future in a COVID-19 World. Now, this uh, virtual seminar, uh, to be, you can watch this uh, live on uh, Facebook. It will be held at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in cooperation with the United Nations uh, on the 3rd of March, uh, 2021, which is this uh, Wednesday. It will be uh, available for viewing on Facebook Live of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Thai MFA, as well as UN Women Asia. So this is a very uh, interesting uh, seminar in which we can learn more about the um, role and empower, empowering of uh, women in the context of, of COVID. So just to end today, we will be having the briefing, not every day, as I mentioned last week, only on Mondays, uh, Wednesdays, and, and, and Fridays. This is a good sign, but of course, all the information I've been asked uh, quite often where to get the information since the beginning. You can actually get that from the social media page of the COVID uh, Center. Uh, it's available in Thai and in English, as well as the Ministry of Foreign Affairs as, as well. So this is just a brief uh, summary. Um, please uh, get the information, the detailed information from our various uh, social media pages. And uh, hope that we continue to take care of each other, have empathy on each other. It's zero discrimination day today. We have had uh, the vaccine uh, shots are, are beginning in, in Thailand. And rest assured that we'll, we'll try our best uh, to... Uh, take care of all those who uh, need the vaccines, those who are in the at-risk uh, groups, and all the criteria that we have mentioned. We'll do it, that with full force until the day that we will be seeing no more COVID in Thailand. So thank you very much for your attention, and we'll see you again on Wednesday. Sorry, Krap.